Hi guys, I'm gonna risk looking like an idiot talking to my phone myself down here at Pier 39 in San Francisco. I'm right by the sea lions, so I'm hoping you hear them a little bit. They've calmed down for a sec. There's a boat ferry or something going by. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see us. Um, the Golden Gate Bridge is just over there and Alcatraz is right behind me. I just had supper at Bubba Gump Company right down here and uh, met a nice couple. The guy was grew, lived in Toronto um, and they're given, they gave me some code on their app so I can actually get in a cab type thing back to the train station so that I don't have to walk in the dark and get back to my airplane. So I just wanted to do this video to show you guys that and to challenge you guys because this is something I never ever ever would have done probably even like a year ago <laughs> not just because of Sensi but I remember when when I well from Sensi and also when I separated from my ex-husband my parents encouraging me to go to a movie alone um, and how empowering that would be or go eat alone and I started doing it but only if I had my cell phone I'm gonna see if you guys can see Alcatraz there's the lighthouse only if I had my cell phone and something to distract me and I mean I have that tonight but I'm I'm in a city I've always wished uh, I could visit like many others that I've gone to because of Sensi in New York, Greece. Well, that's not a city, but you know what I mean. Um, and so this isn't because of Sensi, but because of Sensi making me push beyond my fears and step out of my comfort zone and do scary things, I wasn't afraid. I was supposed to meet a friend actually from the Greece trip, but she couldn't make it. And so she gave me directions, told me where to get off the train, which came right from the airport. Uh, when I got off the train, I was messaging her a little bit, saying, which way do I walk? Um, and now she's checking in, miss, miss, wishing she was here. Um, and, and, you know, next time we'll see each other or she'll come to Halifax. But basically, um, it's... <laughs> sorry, people are looking at me. <laughs> I'm plugged into the building now. So yeah. My fast charger's doing its job before I head back to the airport. Um, I forget what I was saying. Sorry, this is going to be a really rambly video, but... Uh, because I was able to push, um, I would, took advantage of, it was supposed to be an eight hour layover, which made me feel more comfortable. And then we actually left Boise two hours late. So it's quick and I have to get heading back soon for my red eye flight back to Toronto and then home in the morning. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of San Francisco and a little bit of what um, pushing pushing yourself can do. The feeling is amazing and you guys all know that when you actually get up the guts to ask a host um, or ask somebody if they'd like to join and those ones that say yes just you know are huge for the adrenaline or the adrenaline from that is huge for the motivation to keep going. So pushing myself to go watch that one movie alone or eat in the food court alone with my cell phone has gotten me all the way to this. Getting on the train and coming downtown San Francisco all by myself to Pier 39 and uh, to see the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz in the dark right now. But I did come and have supper at Bubba Gump and I even met friends at Bubba Gump. So I probably already said that. Anyway, I love you guys and I can't wait to get back and start all of the new exciting things that we can do. So let me just see. If it will show. It's probably not going to zoom in very well, but I will give you guys pictures as well. All right. 